With a record number of immigrants coming to London, demand for ESL classes is high in the city. We went to one of these classes today to see a little bit about what the students are learning. And prepare delicious uh, foods and barbecue. Mm. You know barbecue, yeah, that's I barbecue. Guess. Yes, very, very nice in this place. It's a fun activity, but at the same time they're working on their um, written skills, because yesterday they spent the day um, writing about a postcard that they selected. And um, so, and today, the opportunity is to talk to their classmates about their postcard, and it's them telling a story. So the postcard is just an image, and they've created the background to that story. So um, these students um, come from various parts of the world, um, from Colombia, Nepal, Syria, Assyria, um, Turkey, Africa, so um, it is how I see it, it is like a, a little, we have a microcosm of Canada in our classroom. As a, as a child of immigrant parents, seeing the struggles that they had in the beginning and knowing what literacy means to a newcomer and the confidence that they will feel becoming literate. I want to learn English as a second language. Uh, for me, so my uh, first language is Arabic. I want to uh, learn that second language, that's English. Uh, this is language very necessary for me to contact with another uh, uh, people and uh, to uh, find work, uh, find job here in uh, in Canada. And uh, also, I want to uh, uh, develop uh, developing my uh, my skills in a language. We have um, continuous enrollment here because they arrive at different times of the year so that allows us to have them enter an ESL class when they arrive um, and we have focused skilled classes for them if some of them have learned reading and writing in their native country maybe listening and speaking may be more difficult so we offer those as well. Um, financial literacy is, is one as well. We just started digital literacy um, and that too, that class is full and we may have to offer that again. Uh, so we cater to the needs when they arrive. There are about 63 different cultures, languages in this building. Uh, when you see them in a class as you did today, you'll see why someone like Maria, an instructor like Maria, gets it's so rewarding to see them try. It only makes you try harder. That's what you know they're trying with all the obstacles that they may have faced and they're in this class trying to better themselves, reach their goals. That's our job to make sure we help them and give them what we can.